Hey, I want to show you real quick how to do some drawing on bitmaps or images or whatever you want to call them. So here's my program. It's empty and crashing. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So anyhow, you can hit the button, put the button right there. And I want to go down to picture box and hit make a picture box. Now, when I hit play, of course, there's no code, so nothing's really going to happen. So the button doesn't do anything. The picture box is there, but not displaying anything. So I'm going to hit close on that now or stop. So what I want to do first is define some things. And the first thing I want to define is an image. So dim BMP is what I'm going to name it as new drawing dot bitmap. Then I can do Use a couple different options, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to define the size. That's in there somewhere. Yeah, maybe it's that. Anyhow, I want to do 640 by 480 just just because. Okay, now when I have my image defined, which notice that the picture box isn't that big. The picture box is only about 300 by 200 ish, but it doesn't matter. So the next thing I want to do is dim graphics as graphics equals graphics I just can't spell from image and we're going to reference back to the BMP image so now we have our our variables defined this is our image and this is what we're using to edit the image with so I'm going to double click this button and that gives me the code to Say when button is clicked, then I want to use graphics, then fill rectangle, and let's just use brushes. I know I like how they got these nice predefined brushes in here. Brushes white, and then we gotta define the rectangle, which we can give it either uh, just a rectangle or we can just define it out like start at zero zero and go for a width of say picture box one since we don't really need to bother filling it 640 by 40 although it would be easier to write we're going to do it like this picture box one dot width and then picture box one dot height so and then close parenthesis there and after that we want picture box one image to be updated to bmp so now when we click our Button one, oh, there we are. Our picture box is filled in with the white as defined by that. So also, there's a couple more options here for drawing. You got really got to go through and look at them all. But we got uh, fill and draw stuff. And a couple other deals in here, but we can do like say uh, draw a line, draw a line. That's a pen. So pens dot red. Let's do red and then we want a point so let's go maybe 10 10 to 50 50 so now it'll, after it draws the rectangle it'll draw a red line from 10 10 to 50 50 what else we got in here it's fun graphics dot let's see fill pie hmm cherry anyhow Uh, draw string. Here we go. This is good. So string, let's say Robomatics. All right, font. And this one's a little hard to define, but I think there's something like default font. Font dot name equals default font. There it is. Default font. Okay. And then we want to make it what color we want. Let's go for just regular black. All right. And then the point, let's go for uh, 60, 60. Okay. Oh, I didn't like it. Fonts, system fonts, that's full fonts. Ah. Okay. Like that? No, darn it. Killing me. Just gotta keep trying sometimes. There we are. Now we 
hit that. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Robomatix in the default font in black at 6060. Okay, cool. Now, another thing. If we wanted to draw with, say, our pen, I can click on here, but nothing happens. So if we want to draw with our pen, here's something fun I really wanted to show you. If we double click on the picture box, when the picture box click happens, we can do some fun stuff. Now, this gets pretty crazy, but uh, on the BMP, as a bitmap, you have a couple of different options, one of which is set pixel. And set pixel allows you to set color of a pixel at a certain position. Now we got X and Y. Now we can do mouse position dot X and mouse position dot Y. Oh yeah, we need a color in there too. Color dot black so it's easy to see. Now this isn't gonna work. I can tell you that right off the bat, but there's a reason why. When I click, you really can't see it happening. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's another reason why it won't work. I have to update the picture box. Picture box dot image equals BMP. Okay, so after either event, the picture box will update. Okay, so now we can click and it's still not working until I get up here. And that's because the mouse, you can see little dots forming around the place, but the mouse is relevant to zero zero of the whole screen. Now we want it to be relative to the zero zero of the picture box. To do so, we need mouse position minus me dot location dot x minus the position of the picture box relative to the form itself. And for x, also minus 4. There's a reason. Okay, so now for the y, I want to also do me that location dot y minus picture box 1 dot location dot y minus 30. And now the reason this is, is because after we've, now I can kind of see, as I click and I follow my mouse around, the dots are hitting right where I put my mouse at. And that is because I'm minusing the mouse position, which is relative to the zeros of the screen, minus the position of the form, minus the position of the picture box, and the 4 and 30 are to compensate for the banner of the program. I have this uh, border style, if you will, this uh, sizable borders here. Oops, and those cost some pixel points, if you will, that aren't counted in, say, either the form location nor the picture box location. So that's why I got to add those in there. See, now we've got a good position going. We can do this elsewise as a graphic instead. So graphics dot, let's say, draw a rectangle. Better yet, let's do draw draw string again. So copy paste. I'm going to grab this big piece here. Put that there and the parenthesis. We're happy. Hit play. Now put my basics down again, and then I'll just tons of Robomatix. Oh, that's great! Look at that fun stuff happening right there. Yeah, well, that's a couple different ways you can draw on a graphic image. Have fun with that.